I'm gonna have boiled egg today. First shop done. They're really lovely, although Chris just said it looked like I'd be an extra in The Lion King. I've lost Chris. I've <laughs> um, snails. I think we'll give those a miss. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Disney vlog day three, I think we're on. Yes, we're on three, because the first one was a travel day. Uh, Chris is just dressing in the background. <laughs> um, so today, the plan is, this morning, we're gonna go to the shopping center, which is across the road from the hotel. Um, also, here is our view from our room. We can see fields. Look, in the distance. Green fields and a train track. So that's our view. Anyway, what was I saying? So we're gonna go to the shopping center this morning for a couple of hours, see what's around. I wanna go to the Primark there, because we went to the Primark in Lille. You would have seen this already, and it was just mega busy. So hopefully this one will be quite quiet. Then we're gonna come back to the room, freshen up, and then go to the parks this afternoon. Park? Park this afternoon. Well, it could be parks. We'll probably hop between the two. I'm sure we will um, this afternoon. We're not sure whether we're going to stay for the fireworks though. We were having like a chat about it this morning and we're going to see how we go because we have to get the bus back and the buses only run till midnight. Fireworks are at 10. If we, We're thinking like loads and loads of people are probably going to... Exactly. Like loads of people are going to want to get the bus and we don't want to miss the bus because that is our only way well we could get an uber but it'd probably take us like two hours to get an uber so we're thinking we might give the fireworks a miss this time but we saw them last time so they're, we'll, different. they're no different we'll see how the night pans out but we're going to go there this afternoon into the early evening probably grab some food there um and then yeah and tomorrow we are up at the cracker sparrow park because we want to get there early doors because we want to do thunder mountain at least three times I've wrong. been told. <laughs> anyway. On, on the bounce. On the bounce. Right. Anyway, we're hungry. We want breakfast. We want a cup of tea. I'm going to have boiled egg today. What are you going to have? I don't know. Hmm. Cocoa pops, maybe. Okay. Okay, just to give you some kind of um, variance of distance, that's our hotel there, the Ibis. That's the train station. So if the trains were running in of an evening, we would get that of an evening, but we'll get that today to the park but then we'll get the bus back and then the shopping center is just over there so everything is relatively close um but yeah anyway right we're gonna head to the shopping center but we have to go this way to the crossing oh, here we are val de europe shopping center so they've got a zara a primark they've got a sephora so down there is car four. Can you see? It's like a whole floor is car four. <laughs> Chris is like staring at it longingly. I went to one in Calais and I think it's just empty. A bit like Target? I think so. I'm not sure how big that one would be. First shop done. Had a little bit of a spend in Primark, not loads, I only spent like 30 euros. And next is Sephora. And we found Sephora. Let's go inside. What's this? Oh, it's a nightlight. Oh, it's a little nightlight. Yeah. <laughs> Odd. really really lovely this is the um, oh hello here's me uh, this is the uh, the decay honey palette and the colors are just gorgeous but I just I don't think I'd wear them they're quite yellow aren't they 
but they're very nice. Oh, but look, I've just swatched them. They're really lovely, although Chris just said it looked like I'd be an extra in The Lion King. You just don't understand makeup, Chris. It would work. I do kind of see <laughs> It would work in a production of Lion King. And it is my favorite Disney film. Oh, look, they're so lovely. So I bought a Huda beauty palette before and the fallout was just insane. But they do really gorgeous colors, but I can't justify it for the fallout that you get from it. Considering the three pound palette that I got from Technique, which is baked, has no fallout, and these are like 30 euros, just, sorry Huda. Right, Sephora done. I only bought one thing in there though. I bought my standard Kat Von D tattoo eyeliner that I was running out of, so that's all I bought in there. I guess it's only fair that you look at trainers considering I've been in Sephora and Primark. Okay, so we are now in what we thought was a car four, but it's not actually a car four. It's called Ouchin. Ouchin. This is basically just like Target. I've lost Chris. I've <laughs> um, I don't know where he's gone. I could be lost in this shop forever. Where is he? Where is it? Oh! <laughs> I thought I'd lost you forever. Oh, you got a travel kettle. A travel one. Just oh, is it a full size nine one? Nine euros. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Just about eight cups Okay, so I found the beauty section. What is Cosmia? Never heard of them before. Hmm. The beauty section didn't really float my boat. There's nothing that different in here, beauty-wise. Oh my god, look at all these pastries. <laughs> oh, mum would love that. Mum loves frangipans. She'd eat a whole one of these. <gasps> look at this. A massive frangipan for 12 persons. She would demolish that. Look at the deli here. All these different nuts and stuff. Meats, quiche, oh, snails. I think we'll give those a miss. And we're back in the room now after our little shopping trip. Um, that was quite nice. It was just nice to do something a little bit different this morning. Bought a few bits, so I went to Primark. You would have already seen that little haul. Um, Chris is currently boiling the kettle because we bought a kettle from the supermarket. Bought a few things from the supermarket, which I'll show you. But what else did I buy other than the Primark stuff? Oh, I went to Sephora. I got myself a Kat Von D eyeliner. I don't need to show you that. Um, and then I went to Pandora and I got my mum a little something. I always buy mum something when we go away. So I got her a ring. It was 29 euros, which I thought was not bad. And then, so I'm spending all my Christmas money. Then I went to Mac. Look at this little funky bag. Um, so I bought two things from Mac, like the little miniatures. Hang on a second, let me just open the bag up. There we go, so I bought a miniature Mac lipstick in the shade Captive, that was 12 euros. And then I bought the um, Prep and Primer. I've never tried this before, but I hear so many good things about this. And so I got a mini one for 12 euros. So that's what I bought from Mac. And then when we were in Sephora, um, I met a lovely subscriber. I met the lovely Kim and Ian and their daughter, Georgia. It was really, really lovely to meet you. Thank you for stopping by and saying hello. Um, they also went to Disney, but they were going home today. So yeah, stroke of luck that we're in Sephora and um, caught up with you guys. They saw Chris first, didn't they? <laughs> and then they said they saw my pink hair, which is fading already. You can't really see, but... Yeah, it's fading. Anyway, then from Ouchen, we bought our lunch, some snacky bits, and a skirt, randomly. So, um, I bought these um, chewy cereal bars because I thought it'd be handy to have in our bag in the park. I got these crustiles because they looked like Cheetos. We'll try those later. Some uh, plain crisps, crinkle crisps. Got a couple of bread rolls, some chicken. Um, I got myself a chicken and rice. Uh, thing for lunch and I bought a skirt a leopard print skirt which I thought was really lovely um, but yeah food wise today obviously we had breakfast this morning in the hotel and this is our lunch so we spent 
like 10 euros on lunch so Chris's chicken was like 4 euros 37 mine was 4.68 a couple of bread rolls and some crisps and then Chris is making tea in the toilet <laughs> With the travel kettle that we bought, which was, how much was it? Eight euros? Oh, we bought some milk as well from the shop. So, um, yeah, that's what we bought today. Anyway, let's have our lunch and then we'll head into the park. Oh, also, um, if you ask at reception, they will give you cutlery. They gave us some plastic cutlery and they gave us a couple of butters as well, which is obviously the butter that we have at breakfast for our roll. So that was very nice of them. And we're back in the park. We are heading to the studios because there's a show on in eight minutes. Let me show you these scanners because we went through them yesterday. Right, let me show you these scanners because they are hilarious. Ready? Slinky dog in a minute. The queue was only like 15 minutes, so we're just waiting. Hopefully, we'll be on it in a minute. Look at that sun. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. Last time we were on the Slinky Dog, it was raining. I know, it was raining last time. And now it's sunny. We're on the Slinky Dog. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> the Ratatouille. Well, that is what we're going to go on next. I think Ratatouille has to be one of my favourite rides. Yes? Yes? yes. Yeah. Along with Big Thunder Mountain. Yes. We're going to do that tomorrow. I think yes. we've mentioned that already. Um, anyway. We're knocking on the gates. <laughs> what's the plan now? We're going to head to the main park. Yeah. Go to Magic Kingdom. See what's around there. I'm still undecided about Tower of Terror. So many people on Instagram are saying, just do it, just do it. It's our favourite <laughs> ride. But I'm just... Look, I'm just scared. <laughs> All it does is drop down. Oh, are you going to go on it? It takes you back up. It drops you. Maybe, maybe tomorrow. We said that last time. Maybe, to, maybe <laughs> tomorrow. Oh, doesn't it look all pretty? Lit up at night with the fountains as well. We're going to head back into Magic Kingdom for an hour or so and then head back on the bus or maybe the train if it's on. Um, back to the hotel because we've got a pack and everything and we're going to be back here at 8 o'clock in the morning. So let's go inside for an hour or so. Oh, look how pretty it looks. All sparkly in the dark. She is sexy tink. She's back. With a pole. Ooh, look at this one. <laughs> She's got a swing in here. Look. Woohoo! Sexy tink. Oh lordy. She is on a pineapple on this one. Phantom Manor. Oh, it looks creepy in the dark, doesn't it? 
That'd be really cool to ride in the dark, wouldn't it? Time. Well, know. the wait time's like 140 minutes. Well, it says on the app, it said 90 minutes of Ratatouille. You're on it in an hour. That's true. Look at the queue time for Big Thunder Mountain, 140 minutes. I'm not standing in the cold for two hours, 20 minutes. No matter how good it will be in the dark, that is a long time to wait. Maybe next time. Tomorrow morning. Well, yeah, tomorrow morning we'll be here. But it would be cool to ride it in the dark, but it's uh, it's too cold to wait in the dark. And get you need to time it right and get like a fast pass later in the day. Yeah. You only do them so long. Yeah. Where are you going? What? What? Where are we going? This is like we're not allowed around here. Where is this? Is this, is this a cut through? Is this where we came? Really? Quiet down here, isn't it? Nice. Right, we are heading back now. Who knows if we get the train or the bus? It depends if the train's running. But um, yeah, we're going to go back now because it's really, really cold. So Chris is just trying to figure out if this last train here on the board, which is the only train we can get that one back to the hotel if not we'll be getting the bus is it the right one no no trains so we're getting the bus and if you want to know which bus we have to get it's the number 43 and it takes you to Val de Europe so we're at the Ibis which is near the Val de Europe and it's this bus here bus stop J will take you back to your hotel and it is two euros each on the <laughs> oh, so it's two euros each for a single. Is that a Hyper Space Mountain? Oh, look at that. And we're back in the room. I've just made us a nice cup of tea. We are now going to eat our snacks that we bought earlier so we've got the Groot and then the chocolate one which has got um like a filling hasn't it what's inside like a biscuit is it a biscuit uh salted caramel oh salted caramel oh in, in what no no not this this is salted caramel and then the chocolate i think it's just like a sponge cake. is it sponge i think so well i guess one way should i just bite it yeah. should i just bite it yeah oh yeah it's got like sponge inside that's not going to focus but there's like a sponge inside oh the chocolate's really nice um anyway i've made us a cup of tea we're gonna have that and then pack for tomorrow and then we're up early tomorrow we're gonna drop our cases off um in the park because that opens eight o'clock so you can drop off your cases you pay like so many euros and you can leave it there all day and then our trains at like four or something so we've got oh six is it so we've got um all day in the park tomorrow so, but we're going to be there when it opens so eight o'clock or half eight as soon as the gates open we tomorrow. will be there tomorrow straight on thunder mountain yeah um but yeah it's been a nice evening just strolling around the park at night time it's been really it was cold though it was cold. really cold wasn't it um oh and for dinner we shared an earl of sandwich didn't we because yes. we didn't really want anything else because we had that big um i had rice and chicken at lunchtime in the room and you had chicken and bread we weren't that hungry yeah. so we haven't really spent much on food today have we a sandwich between us. yeah sandwich between us and a drink yeah that's all we needed and now we've got our our snackage um but anyway right i will see you guys in the next one i hope you've enjoyed today's vlog it's been a bit different bit of shopping bit of park um, of an evening but it's been nice it's been relatively chill but we're still knackered aren't we yeah. like we're still aching but we've walked the same amount as yesterday walking around the shops is just as much as walking around the park anyway i'm gonna sign off for today's vlog thank you guys for watching and we will see you in the next one bye